Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be exploring how to use OS log which is available on Xcode 15 so that it makes our debugging little less painful and we can do all short of filtering. So basically your uh, debug view always look like this, right? So what usually do when we, if we have to find anything, we either use search and then go back and forth to check whether that uh, data is available or not. So by using a logger with the specific details, what we can do is like we can filter it based on this. So let's say for example, I want errors. Just show me the errors. So you can see this like these are the two errors. Everything is gone. Okay. Now let's see. I want to see only these red, red parts. So basically these are the, this is called fault. The moment you click, you can see that these are the faults. And let's say I want to debug uh, deeply that uh, which file and which line of code it is happening. So you can see that there is a, like a small detail here, right? The moment you click here, it will log you. So, okay, I was in that page only. So let's say I was somewhere else, right? And then I want to see that which part of this is failing. So you, you directly see that there is a detail view dot swift line number this. The moment you click on this small arrow, it will navigate you to that specific line where the log has been written. So easily you can debug directly focused to the line of code where it is failing. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have this uh, small example. Let's run and see and explore the project first and then we'll start uh, looking into how to log it properly. Cool. So this is basically a normal, uh, this is basically a normal app where I'm just, I'm just calling a dummy user URL, which gives me all the data and all those data is been like mapped with a user variable and this user is, uh, is mapped with user set inside a list. So you can see here, uh, there are like multiple uh, dummy user. Okay. And uh, the moment you click here, it will go to a detail page where you see a little bit more detail about that user. So the main focus of this project is just a content view and a detail view. Cool. So before uh, starting log properly, what First, we have to create an extension of that logger. So what we'll do is we'll create an extension file. Okay. Uh, let's name it logger extension. Okay. Import the OS log. And right now, um, this is specific to every application. Just the bundle will be different. Okay. Let me write the code and I'll pause. Uh, then you can rewrite from here. Okay, uh, so uh, wherever you have to use the logger, you have to use this extension logger and then uh, create a, a subsystem and uh, create two static variable so that uh, you can categorize it. So right now we'll be focusing more on view cycle and APIs. Okay, so if you had not written the code, you can pause and then uh, write the code. Let's move to content view. Okay. First of all, what we do is like we'll import the OS log here and uh, let's focus on view life, uh, view cycle loggers. Okay. On appear, what I'll do is like on appear and on disappear. Okay. Now this will be logger dot view cycle dot Let's notice so that uh, we can uh, filter it using the notice keyword. Content view appear. Cool. Let's keep it appeared. Huh. Now again, copy the same thing and click here content view disappear. Disappear. Okay. Now copy the same thing. Let's go to detail view and paste it here. Now logger, it's again, it's cannot find the logger, right? So what we have to do is we have to import the OS logger. 
right but again uh, we have to change the name okay detail view i'll copy here and paste it here let's run and see uh, whether we can see the view life cycle loggers or not i stop it and rerun it cool you can see this right so these are the default so ignore it for now let's uh, click on this detail view appear but there is some error okay we'll log it properly now let's go back Alishan, go back. Let's check a little bit downstream. Gust. Cool. Now we are back. So, did you notice one thing? What? Uh, the logger view cycle is written here, right? So, the moment you see it, you can categorize it. Ki, okay, uh, these logs are for my view cycle. So, what we have used it here? We have used notice, right? So now let's filter all the notices. You can click here and click on notice. See? Now you can see all the filters and you can see uh, also that, okay, content view has appeared and then detail view appeared, but content view didn't disappear. Okay? Um, again, detail view appeared, disappeared, appear, disappear, appear, disappear. The whole, there is no retain cycle on this, but again, content view is always there. But again, the reason is because this is our home's home view. That's why. So, but let's say, for example, if there are certain other screen, which is not disappearing, then you can log that uh, by seeing the log, you can debug it. Now, let's log some API as we have already written uh, this API. Now, let's do some API. Thing. So, as you can see, like there are, we are calling a small APIs here, like it's a dummy one. So first of all, let's call logger dot API dot debug. Okay, let's use a debug. API dot, we have debug, error, log, info, warning, trace, notice, critical, a lot of stuff. So you can play with that. So for now, what we'll do is we'll, so like, okay, it's a debug message for me. Cool. So what we'll do is we'll click API slash user is called okay you the message can be anything uh what i'll do next here is um in the response whether we see whether the response is valid or not again the same api but here what we will do is we'll print the data string to see that whether the response is coming correct or not okay sorry data string okay uh what else we can do we can print the http codes also at the same time now so logger dot api dot debug message what will the message um let's say api slash user i felt code http response dot status code so let's say for example if it's throw error we can know that what why this happened so now we are uh, printing the status code now let's see if it is an uh, error what we'll do is logger dot api dot fault what will be the message api slash user good and let's say we'll print the error also url error don't bad service cool now the same thing let's do it on detail view so in detail view what we have done is like i have specifically added a api which will give a error response cool so we'll do the same thing here also logger dot api dot debug what we are calling api slash xyz calling let's print the same thing here with error message api 
API slash XYZ field. And then hello load URL. Error bad service. Cool. Now let's do let's do a run and then see our API errors. Now the view cycle is connected and I click here, go back, click here. Now you see it's not coming, right? So we have already selected the filter. So the moment we click this, see, now you can see all the response here. Now let's say we have to filter the APIs, right? API we set it as like, um, API we have set it as like error and debug. So let's see the debug first. Filter, debug. So these are the debug APIs. So API user is called. This is the response I got. And then see again, uh, second API is called. User is calling XYZ. API calling XYZ. But again, I, we haven't seen that there is a no error, right? But now let's check the error part. So if I scroll directly from here, we are not seeing any red error. So, okay, this is not error. Okay, my bad. So the red one comes with fault. My bad. Let's rerun it. I clicked here. Yeah, we got the error. Now we click again. We got the error, right? Okay. Now let's do uh, just filter this two line. So this is our fault, right? Uh, we click on fault, and blah, we got it. But again, uh, the good thing is, uh, the moment you see any log message, previously what we used to do, we used to like like copy this, paste it here, and then check everything, right? So though it's like a demo project, that's why you are seeing just three. But here what best is, like let's say for example, you are on content view, right? Or some other view screen, let's say image view. Uh, if you hover over here, if you like click your mouse here, you see a detailed view here, right? The moment you click this, you will directly navigate it to that particular line of code. Isn't it cool, right? So this is about OS log. This is not a vast topic, but uh, uh, adding your creativity on top of it uh, will obviously gives you extra hand so that you can debug your own code easily and the showcase that how easily you can debug your code so fast. Hope this helps. Uh, do subscribe, like and add your comment. Uh, any feedback for me, I'll really appreciate. Uh, the links of the project is in the description. Mm. I, if you have any question, you can reach me out on Instagram, Twitter. The link is already given on the description. Thank you. Peace. Bye.